And it was 40 years ago today that what at the time was considered to be the most severe act of domestic U.S. terrorism happened on the UW-Madison campus. In the pre-dawn hours of August 24, 1970, a building on the UW-Madison campus was blown up. And even for those of us who were five miles away at that moment, it shook us awake from our beds. We didn't know until later what had happened, just that the whole town shook. What had happened is that a group of four anti-Vietnam War protesters had parked an old white van filled with explosives in an alley next to Sterling Hall and set them off. The building housed an Army Weapons Research Center that had been the focus of protest after protest during those years. But what the bombers didn't count on was that a young grad student was in the building doing research. He was killed. The four bombers got through an early traffic stop and eventually got away. Three were eventually caught. But the FBI says finding Leo Burt is still a priority. In Madison this week, the university is offering a recording booth in the library for people to share their memories of that event.